Hi, my name is Bethany Lawson, and I'm a junior at Waldorf University, where I am majoring in business administration with an emphasis on management and human resources. I attended Youth Tour in the summer of 2018, sponsored by Interstar Electric Cooperative from Edgar County, Illinois. Growing up in the land of Lincoln means cornfields stretch as far as the eye can see in every direction, and there's not a person in town who doesn't know you by name. My state is, as our hometown hero and country singer Brett Eldridge says, the heart of the heartland. Despite growing up in a rural area, touring D.C. was a dream of mine for years. I felt a call to it like a sailor feels a siren's call to the sea. So when I was selected for youth tour, I expected the trip to be fun, but I did not expect it to change my entire life in the ways that it did. The name youth tour is almost misleading because while we did tour the nation's capital, the trip was about so much more than sightseeing. It was about dreaming bigger, serving more, and taking responsibility for shaping the future. It demonstrated that anyone can make a difference, regardless of where they come from, and it gave us inspiration for how to do it. We all had passion, but for many of us, this was the first time we could envision the multitude of ways that passion could be used. There are an abundance of memorials in DC, but it is a mistake to believe they are simply monuments to the dead. They are reminders for the living that one day people will look back on our story too, and that we have a duty to make this generation's chapter in the history books a meaningful one. Youth Tour left me so inspired to take hold of my life and use it to make a change, to be bold in leadership and actively involved in the things that matter most. I went to DC hoping to have a fun time exploring a city I had always wanted to visit, but I came home with a hundred new ideas on how to change the world, and I am forever grateful to my electric co-op for making it happen. Once I got home from Youth Tour, I couldn't go back to who I was before the trip. It gave me the courage to start trying more things outside of my comfort zone, things that scared me a little bit, because it proved that if you're brave enough to take the chance anyway, you might just be pleasantly surprised by the results. The first thing I did upon returning from Youth Tour was write an article about the trip which ran in my local newspaper. Our statewide magazine, Illinois Country Living, picked it up as well, and it was passed around by staff at our national headquarters in D.C., Though I've always been terrified of public speaking, I soon conquered that fear and went on a public speaking tour titled Perfect Love, engaging with local schools and churches. On tour, I got to promote my self-published fantasy novels and gave out around 100 copies. I was also invited to speak at my Electric Cooperative's annual members meeting, where I was able to share about youth tour on a countywide level. Despite having no previous experience, I tried out for and made my college cheer team freshman year. My coach emphasized volunteer service, and I learned a lot by hosting workshops and summer camps for high school students, as well as participating in Special Olympics and Walk to End Alzheimer's with my team. I tried my hand at advocacy by participating in Dress Summer, an annual month of fundraising and educating the public about human trafficking. I was so proud of the way my team came together and spread awareness in our communities with members from across the country. While doing all this on a local level, I had hopelessly caught the DC bug on youth tour and started looking for a way to go back. In fall 2019, I was accepted as an intern at the White House. There, I got to participate in historic events such as the Australian state arrival, as well as celebratory events like Halloween at the White House and the national tree lighting. The internship highlighted the importance of volunteering, so we also had the opportunity to work alongside the National Park Service and DC Charity so others might eat. Through all these experiences, I learned that people are most alive when they are living in service to others. No one should let their lack of experience hold them back from throwing themselves into the things they believe in. Through Youth Tour, my eyes were opened to how people are making a difference everywhere, whether in their rural hometowns or the highest branches of government. It's also important to find people who believe in you and to never take their belief for granted. Most of us are only in the places we are today because someone chose to have faith in us, and we should represent them with gratitude. Looking back on my life, I see my electric co-op as one of the biggest key players in getting me to where I am today, because they believed in my potential before I could see it myself. I am currently pursuing both a college degree and government positions in D.C. so I can support the needs of rural communities like my own on a national level. But beyond that, I also hope to inspire others to do the same. I can only serve because my hometown and my electric co-op served me first. The way I will measure my life at the end of it is by how many other lives are changed similarly because I was here. Scholarships are to college students what youth tour is to high school students, a vote of confidence and a push towards greater things. Every entrepreneur knows that vision is necessary, but without finances, it can only carry you so far. 
People starting businesses have to convince investors that they will not let them down. And likewise, I am assuring you that if you decide to be an investor in my future, I will not let you down either. I will settle for nothing less than changing the world. I consider it my responsibility as the recipient of so much to give back in even larger amounts. Your investment in me will be multiplied by the lives I intend to touch. I ask to be considered for the scholarship, not just for my sake, but for the sake of those I want to reach. The education I will obtain with a scholarship will equip me to serve others better. It will give me wings with which to soar. Thank you. Thank you.